Greetings aspirants, we have Ms. Kavya here. She secured All India Rank 38 in the Indian Forest Service Examinations. She uh, did her Blitzcom Mains Batch, CSAT and even her optionals and the interview guidance from our academy. So we are uh, very proud that our student has made it to the list. So congratulations Kavya. Okay, thank you sir. So how do you feel right now after clearing the exams? Uh, it is a feeling of a dream come true moment and uh, I feel very uh, uh, great uh, after the results are re released. Uh, it is like uh, three years of sleepless nights have uh, borne some fruits uh, one day. So I feel like that. So this is your third attempt. Yes sir. So how do you feel after like uh, there is a common saying that uh, we require a lot of perseverance for clearing this exam. So you failed the first two times and you made it to the list the same. How do you feel for what, uh, how do you feel generally? Uh, the feeling I get is that uh, it is like uh, learning from failures. Okay. I feel like it is a self-assessment of uh, those two years uh, so that I could correct myself. That, uh, that rectification has uh, given the result in the third attempt. Uh, so it is a, uh, it's like uh, learning from what we have failed, what we didn't do and what we have to do something more than what we have done. It is a feeling of uh, such thing. So, super. See guys, perseverance is uh, the most important uh, requirement for clearing this exam. So, congratulations once again. Thank you, thank you sir. So, what is the role Shankar AS Academy played in your preparation journey? Uh, more than it, it is like a role it is playing. I have grown up uh, in uh, our academy, in Shankar AS Academy. Like I have done uh, my foundation courses, PCM uh, in 2018-19 and uh, my CSAT my optional that is agriculture here and uh, even the next even the other years uh, after that uh, uh, pre storming main storming everything i have done in shankarais academy and even the interview guidance program for ifs i have done here so uh, I, it is like uh, shankarais academy have uh, has reared me from uh, what i what i have been an aspirant to uh, the to finding my name in the final list so very proud that we have produced a successful officer thank from our academy thank you so the next question is uh, relating to women aspirants. So this is your third attempt. So what are the difficulties you faced, especially as a, as a woman from your, like there are your family, relatives will say something, right? So right. how you manage them, how you made it to this, so just uh, for them. Obviously it is a kind of difference, uh, a huge difference is there from male aspirants that a women aspirant is uh, clearing the exam that is a, uh, that, uh, that is one of the most toughest exams in India. Uh, the thing I want to say is that uh, uh, very few aspirants, women aspirants could uh, crack it and could travel till the, this end. And uh, the thing is that uh, first they get uh, societal pressure and family pressure especially after 22 years uh, the talks of marriage and everything comes there. Second is that the health issues which uh, women aspirants are facing. And uh, third is that they get to have a, a loss of faith in themselves that they could not uh, be competent to uh, clear the exam and competent with the male aspirants that they feel some uh, kind of uh, uh, discomfort there to compete with the male aspirants. Uh, that is the thing they are facing and uh, the thing I also face everything. Even though I have my uh, family support, uh, the societal pressure uh, uh, was there. So I, I was in a state that I should ignore every such things and uh, uh, my goal and aim was the only focus so that I could travel towards that. Uh, my uh, perseverance streamlined me to achieve that goal, I think. So to all the women aspirants watching, so take her as an example and power through it. You can definitely make it. And any parents or family members watching, please support your child so everyone can make it through these examinations. Okay. So let's come to prelims. So you did not clear first or two times in the films and then the third time you cleared the forest service cutoff. So what changes did you make? How was the academy helpful? How was everything helpful? What changes you generally made in your strategy? Uh, so in first prelims I had a range of uh, some 10 to 15 marks uh, to the cutoff. And even in second prelims uh, it was like that uh, from uh, like 10 uh, marks difference. Uh, and the CSAT was also only uh, just uh, clearing uh, the type. And in third prelims, I changed my strategy. I used the COVID uh, lockdown and the postponing of exam exams as uh, one of the opportunity like blessing in disguise. 
so i could cover the gray areas like ancient india even world history so that i i will get an confidence that even any area it is asked i could uh, do something justice to that in the question paper and other thing is uh, our shankara s academy civil speedia that is daily news analysis was very very helpful that made me to clear uh, even ifs cut off in the prelims with a comfortable margin uh, so it uh, i i have uh, uh, after uh, checking the uh, uh, official key it i have secured a 118 marks which is uh, very much ahead of the cut off so the only uh, one of the changes i have made in my strategy is this uh, uh, following the daily news analysis i used to take notes from uh, the daily news analysis like uh, before going to bed i will spend half an hour on it uh, just hearing it and uh, writing the notes there when i get to read monthly compilations i update these things in that so that i could relate to the things it is like revising multiple times without even uh, uh, deliberately doing i myself have a subconscious kind of uh, revising themselves uh, while watching and while hearing so this is one of the strategy and other strategies i have diversified the sources i thought that not only books will help us to gain knowledge or uh, have clarity in the subject more than that uh, watching videos having uh, some voice records i myself read and uh, have a voice record and i'll uh, play it uh, when i'm going to bed like that or when i am when i'm having a walk like that so diversifying the sources uh, helped me and third thing is i have uh, used uh, uh, some of the positives of mine i i found that if i am seeing something i can get a image memory so i used that in my one of my strategies so i can uh, have a thorough uh, reading once so i can get a image memory through that and multiple test is one of the universal strategies i have followed as yes, uh that which was which i didn't follow in the previous two attempts so multiple uh, because of the covid lockdown and uh, uh, postponing examinations this multiple test also uh, helped me a lot so since you mentioned about revision what do you think is the role of revision in the examination preparation not just in prelims in mains also how important is revision as yes, a because uh, revision helps us to regain something we have learnt already revision is not like uh, studying newly so we we should not uh, have a fear of uh, seeing something new there we will have a uh, confidence in our mind that it is already read we are just seeing through it so revision helps us to pile up something uh, uh, like upgrading our knowledge what we already have so only when we revise we could uh, we could get the correct and thorough knowledge even the peripheral areas will also be covered when we revise because once we study we get to know the core areas when we revise that we could be able to cover the gray areas and the peripheral areas so that we could get the elaborate knowledge and diversified knowledge this uh, various dimensions we are thinking make us to have uh, some doubts of out of it and we get to uh, find some of the solutions to that doubts and answers to that doubts that gives a uh, uh, connectivity of our uh, brain and our uh, mind to work uh, work uh, in a very active way Uh, so that when we search things even in google or standard books uh, we will be able to be having a very active mindset there so th- this kind of uh, chain of reactions uh, can be obtained through this revision process so people watching so we have a example here how important revision is there and how re- revision will help you clear the examination so not just watching our videos or still reading books uh, include revision in your process also it will be very helpful okay so coming to mains how important is uh, answer writing for mains preparation uh sir uh, i didn't clear the civil service mains examinations but uh, uh, i thought that the civil service mains examination is one of the mock test for uh, writing the ifs mains examinations we have uh, we have found that we and we know that it is uh, both these are different so we should change the strategy to clear uh, ifs mains we had a, a break of uh, 40 days over there after the civil service mains i had a one week break uh, for uh, calming and chilling my mind so that i could recoup myself and uh, uh, i had an advantage that i i, I needed to study only uh, botany as my new optional uh, uh, many of the aspirants will have two optionals as their uh, new one uh, so i could invest most of my uh, time in my botany optional so that i could get a edge over others and uh, Or, or uh, on uh, one third of or forty uh, percentage of the 
agriculture syllabus is covered in uh, botany syllabus is covered in agriculture itself so i could invest in other areas like uh, general english general knowledge so that i can give uh, my fullest uh, effort to all the papers so this was this was my main strategy so uh, agriculture options option students so just definitely have uh, edge or other aspirants in the forest service yes uh, i feel so okay, okay. so uh, people watching who are having uh, agriculture optionals so if you make it through the prelims examination you have high chance of clearing the mains examination yes sir okay. how was what is the role of uh, our academy in uh, your mains preparation uh, sir uh, even though i didn't clear 2020 and 2019 prelims i was a part of mains storm in 2019 2020 uh, so i could get a get a broader and a peripheral knowledge of what is mains uh, mains okay. writing okay. and also especially our civil speedia daily news analysis we had not only prelims based questions but also mains based questions uh, daily our academy post uh, some uh, two uh, one or two questions for mains answer writing in the civil speedia that made me to know that uh, oh this is the way the mains uh, questions are asked even though we have previous questions in upsc uh, this will daily uh, brainstorm or uh, Uh, brainstorm or thinking and relate whatever we read about uh, that topic in morning because uh, we read newspaper and based on the newspaper only we have uh, this main answer writing in civil speedia so i could relate something there so uh, that brainstorming also helped me uh, in my main answer writing sir so finally coming to the interview part so how do you prepare for interview sir we had a, a group of 4 uh, to 5 people and we were uh, uh, dividing our uh, uh, focus areas among us among us like technical part and uh, our shankar is academy environment book is like bible for uh, ifs uh, interview program uh, personality test so we divided ourselves and uh, we discuss about the topic every day without any uh, without any excuses even in main sense uh, means uh, Uh, IFS means we had a uh, group discussion of uh, between us. So every word in the top, every word in the syllabus was covered by each uh, each and every one of us. We tend to teach others, and uh, the, that re the for that reason we should have uh, prepared something in depth for okay. ourselves also. So uh, on discussion we get many of the uh, ext- extra. Uh, extra things like uh, examples and uh, current affairs schemes so this value addition also we got to know from this discussion and this way it was carry forward to uh, interview also so during our interview preparation we just brushed up what we have already done in the main during the main preparation yes, sir. Uh, so we could uh, cover every areas and we could confidently approach a personality test there even though uh, in the personality test it was a uh, very uh, new experience because it i'm first time i'm facing such an interview interview there but it gave me much confidence that uh, i can do something justice over my 3 years of preparation so what was the shankar ayer academy role in your uh, interview preparation process uh, sir uh, out of uh, the 12 13 marks i have given uh, four marks from our academy itself Uh, so weekly once i'll give a mock here and i take uh, the valuable comments uh, the panelists give to me and uh, have the transcript as uh, syllabus for uh, the further preparation in interview and second thing is uh, the one on one dab session with the kartikeyan sir was immensely helpful uh, because it was both friendly and also formal so that i could uh, have a, i could gather whatever i have read or have a accumulated knowledge uh, in my mind uh, and uh, the materials provided by our academy related to this uh, interview uh, like current affairs regarding uh, tamil nadu and other forestry have also helped me and then uh, our academy also conducted classes which was uh, 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 taught by kartikeyan sir and uh, that was also very useful for me and uh, more than these things ma- they had the uh, faculties have given me personal guidance in how to develop my personality ultimately that is the need in this uh, personality yes. test so uh, i have a, i have a, i was a very big beneficiary from our uh, academy like uh, i got guidance from kartikeyan sir rajita ma'am satyakrishnan sir kanagaraj sir chandru sir 
and uh, every other faculties also they were very much approachable so that i could contact them at any time and uh, clarify my doubts over there and uh, uh, the other uh, thing is uh, uh, the emotional connect uh, for me with the academy like uh, uh, it was a uh, shankar sir and vaishnavi ma'am they seeded uh, the spirit in me so that emotional connect also pushed me uh, to this level i think so and uh, uh, another emotional connect uh, to me to the uh, with the academy is that uh, i watch uh, uh, shankar sir's uh, kaliyamma story that 24 minutes uh, around the world uh, before every exams i face like even i whenever i am writing nabard exams or capf or cds that gave me a push up uh, to have a quick revision of uh, uh, traveling around the world uh, the day before uh, the uh, exam uh, exam i uh, used to revise uh, with that so these are the things that uh, i have a connect with our academy so regarding the final interview how was it facing the how were you able to handle your nerves your anxiety everything in the final interview before the board uh sir so as i already said uh, i was very confident that we have covered uh, many areas there so only thing is i have to go and speak something and doing justice to my preparation so uh, once i am entering into the once i was entering into the uh, room i left every prejudiced mindset out there and entered into the interview because it will reflect what we use, what we already have as a personality it is not like what we have uh, prepared, uh, prepared and groomed like that and the as the same that uh, it was not like a viva voce but like testing my personality testing my positivity and testing whether i am uh, fit for the service or not so i had a open mind there and every uh, and the, the board was very friendly so it was reciprocated usually reciprocated that i was also friendly to them uh, so that uh, communication skills developed over that friendliness so this was the reason i could be open minded and uh, answer uh, whatever they ask this so thank you for uh, coming to us and giving this interview uh, before concluding uh, can you view our audience and uh, give some general advice for them to make it through the exam how to stay perseverant how to give importance to both uh, all the three stages and make it through this you can see the yes Uh, first of all i wish uh, all the best for every aspirants uh, who are trying for uh, and who are uh, sacrificing their life and uh, uh, this youth phase for their preparation and the the thing we have to keep it in my keep it in our mind is perseverance and self confidence we have to believe ourselves that we, i could clear i could uh, uh, cross this stage so we should have a uh, short term goal first complete it daily Uh, and can the medium term goal like a uh, completed completing something in monthly uh, basis and we have to move forward uh, so i think that for every stage we have to have uh, read about it and uh, practice in the first time itself for like example when we are entering into the uh, f- first attempt we should not think that i must clear this time itself we have to have a open mind that i have to learn something so that even if i if i couldn't clear this time if not this time the next time so we should have in mind that we first we should pressure is ourselves because already society pressures us ourselves by us and we should not uh, add uh, something to that pressure so we should have confidence in ourselves even this time uh, even uh, i have to uh, prepare something for mains i have to uh, improve my personality in the first attempt itself then automatically that will groom ourselves without our knowledge in the consequent uh, attempts and uh, that will uh, bear fruits in the future thank you for the interview once again and uh, heartiest congratulations from both the civil sphere team and shankar ai academy may you achieve greater things in life also thank, thank you. you so much i thank uh, uh, shankar ai academy for giving this wonderful opportunity to share something what i have learned from them Uh, to the upcoming aspirants and also uh, uh, who are already giving attempts and uh, thank uh, my special thanks to the civil speedia team also that has uh, really made me to uh, clear uh, uh, prelims in 2021 the comfortable margin which i i couldn't uh, do in the previous two attempts uh, so uh, thank you much to everybody uh, and uh, especially uh, civil speedia team and shankar academy thank you
ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು